my attic. I mean, I think about it when it talks about squandering the hours that may have been worthwhile. It reminds me of something that uh, I used to listen to the original Joe and Charlie Cakes, and, and they talked about the uh, resentment replay machine. And I think that's what he's talking about. It's like every morning you replay all those resentments and, and uh, shine them up and, and relive them. And that's what resentment means in Cherry, uh, the Latin, it means to refill. So I get some kind of pleasure out of refilling something and squandering those hours. And then after I've replayed all those, and then I'll pull down the, uh, here's what I'm going to say to that somebody if they say this to me machine, you know, and then I roll through those, you know, and get all my retorts ready. Uh, and, you know, talking about squandering hours, I can see how that could happen. Um, uh, the, the, to me, the, the key to the fourth step is show is try is is going to show me that some of those things that are in that resentment replay machine aren't real. Um, they're fancy, as it talks about on the next page. Fancy to real, these have the power to kill. So they're going to show me that some of them aren't real. Uh, and if they're not real, then we can take them out of the machine. Uh, miraculously, they just disappear from the machine and. Uh, the names that go on the list is, is a real important uh, because uh, if I'm not careful, and I've seen a lot of newcomers do this, they'll just put the, like on 54, which is with this people, institution, the principles of people who are angry. They'll just list the ones they're angry at now. But the operative word in that sentence is with whom we were angry. It means if I ever was angry, then I put it, even if I'm not angry now. And then on the facing page at the bottom, it talks about we went back through our lives. Nothing counted as fairness and honesty. That means I go back as far as I can remember. And if I ever were angry, then I put them. So, consequently, I could have names that were on my list that were names before I ever started drinking. Right? Because I went back through my life. So, one of my names that encapsulates this entire concept of fancy uh, and um, before drinking resentment is Uncle Alvin was on my list. I put Uncle Alvin on there, and it was uh, from a from a situation where there was a uh, family get together, and uh, we were all out. The kids were out in the country, and we were throwing rocks at a big wasp nest out in the country, and uh, it was on this big barn, and and all the old people were over there eating watermelon and stuff like that, and we were having a blast. It was a big country wasp nest, not one of the small city ones. It was like at least a foot across. So. He must have been stirring some stuff up. Here comes Uncle Alvin, and he, he knocks the wasp nest down with a long cane pole and walks away. And that was not all there was to do out there. So he spoiled all the fun, and what an asshole Uncle Alvin was, and fuck him. And for the next large part of my childhood, every single family get together, I'd sneer at him and chuckle and, and, miss, and act like I didn't like him because of that incident. Right? Because of what an asshole he was. Uh, and, you know, we talk about the seven parts of self. Self esteem. I see myself as a nice kid and don't deserve Uncle Alvin to spoil my fun. Uh, you know, uh, my security. I, I need people to leave me alone and let me have my fun. You know, ambitions. I intend to uh, go get a cane pole and hit him over the head with it. I mean, that's why I'm in column three. I'm looking directly at column two and column three and I'm seeing how those seven parts. Other people would think I was a chump because I didn't take up for myself and wouldn't want to be my friend. It's those personal relationships. I mean, I was young, so the sexual relationships might not come in, but a lot later in the in the uh, in life, you know, the women would think I was weak and wouldn't want to have sex with them. That's the sexual relationship. So when I go through that 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 the gyration of going through each one of those seven parts of self and writing that writing down what my mind thought did. And then I go into the fourth column and look at column three and go, man, that's not cool to say I, I intend to pick up a punt, a game pole. Uh, I think I'm a nice kid. So maybe I was a little shit. Maybe I was dishonest with myself. Maybe that's a little self secret. You know, I need people to leave me alone. But maybe I don't know what I need. So what we find is that dishonesty with myself is, is pervasive. And they're not talking about dishonesty cash register. They're talking about me lying to myself about what happened? So what's the end of the story? The end of the story is that I failed to look for the large part of my childhood what was really going on. 
All I could see is how what he did affected me and my fun. I didn't see anything else. I was on 62, completely oblivious, like he talks about. I, I, all I could see is how they retaliated, but I did not see how I may have set a ball in motion. And what did I do? I was stirring up wasp nests, and they were stinging the old ladies. So all of a sudden, when reality washed over me, doing the fourth step, not only was Alvin not the asshole, but he saved the fucking day. I was the little bastard. <laughs> right? I can convince myself that he's a motherfucker and I'm, I'm white as snow. Resentment replay machine. And then I find out I'm a little bastard, and, and, and he's, but he's long dead now. And I'm doing the fourth step. So, that's a perfect example of how something can, can, can be seen as fancy. And all of a sudden, can you just see how I don't hate Uncle Alvin anymore? I mean, I'm a little pissed at myself and feel foolish for hating him for, for, for no fucking reason. But what, what the fourth step showed me is that if I can be fooled by them then, I can be fooled by the defects now. I get out of reality. It talks about I can't differentiate the truth from the fault. So, the reason the fourth step, when I know it's done its job, when it shows me that I've, based on pure selfish self-seeking and dishonesty, has made me to believe things that weren't true, oftentimes for years, and made me act accordingly, because I wasn't living in reality. So, the, it gives me the motivation to try to do these steps and stay in reality, because I don't want to push a fancy, fake, Tony resentment replay machine for another two decades. I don't know about y'all. So, it's not how many names I have, and there's going to be some names. It's when I put the names, do I end up seeing what, what it's designed to show me? There were a lot of fancy ones. Sure, there's some real ones. I'm not going to deny that there's not some real ones. That's what page 67 is for, that perhaps they're sick and this and that. But what I found is that most of them, was me believing things that weren't true, and all of a sudden they just fell by the wayside. So that's the fourth step. That's, that's 64, 65, the, the, the general gyration of the list, who goes on it, the seven parts of self, and this result. I've had a special link from the university session. Okay.